profitable. Everything we come up with, the idea is that this product can evolve with your organization over time. It is a growing system of components. And it is no longer just the huddle pod that you see here now, but it's also a solo pod for one person and an open pod, no table, no chairs, no floor, more or less shelter. So you can put your own sit stand desk, your own ergonomic chair inside. You can put a wheelchair inside. It's a truly accessible product that doesn't restrict itself in terms of use, but is open to interpretation. And so we see this as a growing system of components that can help your organization start with one, start with several, build system and grow over time in order to enhance your company's capabilities around neuro inclusivity, physical inclusivity, sensory spaces, or even developing a day bed type pod and a pod for yoga and mindfulness. Because at our core is people's well-being. That's where we started from. We created a product that was very obviously built around meetings and connections, but it was built with well-being and neural inclusivity, um, neurodiversity in mind. So as the system grows and as the products grow across that system, you'll see that those elements come to the fore more and more. So now we're at a point where we can be part of your company's journey as, that, as your company grows and evolves and we can help you respond to COVID and deliver reasonable density in the space while providing all of these features and enhancements to your workspace that cater for different types of brains, different uh, abilities physically, and cater for the different functions of your space and cater for the fact that your workspace now is going to evolve to be less about people sat at dedicated desks working on their laptops all day long. That's probably something that's going to happen remotely a little bit more, but that it's becoming more of a social space, a collaborative space, a space where people come together to meet, to have good conversations, to collaborate, to get group work done, to communicate with their colleagues, probably through video, a little bit more because those colleagues who are working from home or working from co-working instead of working in the office still need to be uh, included. So it makes sense to have individual spaces where you can do video conferencing, um, but without excommunicating yourself from the environment. So those are the key cornerstones. Agility, um, neuro inclusivity, accessibility. And the final one I wanted to talk about very quickly is sustainability. Often sustainability is seen as kind of two things. Make it from recyclable materials and um, make it so it's such that it can be easily recycled in that, that it can be taken apart and separated into its constituent components. I think those two are important, but there's three other really important things that go into it. The next one is that I think the product should be built to last. And this product is built to last. It's built durable. It's built to withstand the typical kind of behavior that it would get in an office environment uh, or uh, in a science park or in even an educational institution, which let me tell you uh, is some of, the, some of the toughest challenges that we've faced, but we've come through it. It's built to last, but it's no good being built to last if you can't change because environments change, needs change. So we think it's really important that the product not only is durable, but also flexible to be able to change over time so that you can come back to it in a year, two years, six months, three years, five years, whatever it is might be, and change it for the latest interior, change it to match your environment, change it to whatever it is you need it to be. So not only can you specify it to be in white or gray or black or wood, not only can you specify the fabric to be whatever color or even material that you want it to be, but you can also come back after a period of time and we can do a refresh to bring it back to new, or we can do a change out to adjust to suit your environment, or you can add new accessories, like when we brought in wireless charging or the whiteboard rear wall, that was all retrofittable, and the same will be true as everything we, of everything we do in the future. So those are four components of sustainability, but there's one final one, I alluded to it there briefly, and it's that closing that circle. 
so to be able to come back to us and to say okay we need to change it or okay we're done with it and that's an important element that we want to be able to help you on that journey we want to be able to facilitate bring it to its next stage in that journey so we either help you refresh it or we uh, take part in a, take you, uh, help you to come to become part of a program where we can bring that back to ourselves and then we can sell that product on or rent it out there on so sustainability to us is an important part of that journey and we want to be contributing to long-term value for your organization by helping your people by helping community yours and the global community and by helping the planet to make sure it ticks all of those boxes and it satisfies all of those needs because we need it to do those things as we move forward not just from the point of view of corporate responsibility but also from the point of view of responsibility to each other so that gives you a, a reasonable picture uh, you can tailor it to what you need you can change it over time it'll give you that neuro inclusivity component it'll give you agility it's flexible you don't have to worry about investing in it it's something that you're going to be able to adapt over time and it's going to do what your organization needs it to do so I hope that gives you a real reasonable uh, bit of an insight into the Nook system as it's now become, uh, the cornerstones of the things we care about, why we created it, what it does, and how it can help your organization as it grows over time. Thanks very much for taking the time to listen. Hope that was of interest. Look forward to talking to you again soon. And please reach out if you have any ideas for how we can improve it in the future because we love to grow with you and not just tell you what you should be doing, but help you to get there. Thanks very much to you. Bye-bye.